Hi, special friends. We're celebrating Christmas, the most wonderful time of the year. I'm so glad I get to share this time with you. Today, I have the most amazing true story to share about the birth of a very special baby. His name is Jesus, and Jesus is the reason we celebrate Christmas. You may remember that last week we learned the exciting good news that an angel appeared to a young girl named Mary and told her she would have a baby. This baby would be God's son and his name would be called Jesus. Today, we're going to hear more of Jesus' story. It happened over 2,000 years ago in the little town of Bethlehem. I can't wait to tell you more, but first, Let's all stand up and sing a song celebrating Jesus and what Christmas is all about. Yeah. Oh, yeah. God loves us so much. He sent us his son. I want to Because it's Christmas Day So I'm gonna sing, sing, sing And shout, shout, shout So excited, I just can't hide it now So I'm gonna sing, sing, sing And dance all around I know Jesus is what Christmas is about Oh, I know Jesus is what Christmas is about Joy is everywhere when Christmas time is near. But more than toys and gifts, oh, I know what Christmas is. So I'm gonna sing, 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 and shout, shout, shout. So excited. Fantastic. I believe we're ready for our lesson. 
As I mentioned, our story today happened over 2,000 years ago in the little town of Bethlehem. Joseph and Mary had to travel to Bethlehem to be counted. It was a long trip. Mary was pregnant with baby Jesus. She couldn't walk the whole time, so she rode some on a donkey. When they got to Bethlehem, they found the city was full of people who also come to be counted. And Joseph and Mary had a hard time finding a place to sleep. Then someone helped them. Let's watch and see where baby Jesus was born. Just follow me through. Hoo, hoo. Follow me through. Follow me through. Hoo. I've got a Bible story for me and you. Oh, hey there. Merry Christmas. I'm Justin the Mailman. Look at all of these Christmas cards. This one says, Merry Christmas. Christmas starts with the letter C. And this one says, joy. That starts with the letter J. That reminds me of our story today. It's about a very special baby whose name starts with the letter J. I can't wait to tell you about it. I'll just put the story mail in the mailbox and... Today's part of the true story of Christmas begins with Mary and Joseph. They lived in the town of Nazareth, but they needed to go all the way to the city of Bethlehem to be counted. Do you see Bethlehem all the way back there? That's where Joseph was from, and that's where they needed to go. But Mary was going to have a baby. That means she couldn't walk all that way. She needed a ride. What do you think Mary rode to Bethlehem? Do you think she took the bus? No. Did she ride on the train? No, she didn't ride the train. She didn't ride a bus or a train. She probably rode on an animal, like a donkey. What does a donkey say? Hee-haw, hee-haw. Okay, on to Bethlehem. Once Mary and Joseph got to Bethlehem, they needed to find a place to stay. So they looked around the town for somewhere to rest. They knocked on door A. But there wasn't any room there. They knocked on door B. But there wasn't any room there either. Oh no, where are Mary and Joseph going to stay? They knocked on door C. Oh, wow! The innkeeper didn't have any room inside, but he told Joseph and Mary that they could stay in his stable. Now, a stable is a place where people keep their animals, and it was in that stable, with all of the animals, that something amazing happened. A very special baby was born, and Mary named him Jesus. J is for Jesus. Everyone say, J is for Jesus. J is for Jesus. God loves us so much that he gave us Jesus. Oh, hey there, Ollie. Tell me, how do we know God loves us? God gave us Jesus. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, how do we know God loves us? God gave us Jesus. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. I'll see you next time. Wow, every time I hear the story of how Jesus was born, I get goosebumps all over. I love Jesus so much. Do you remember the name of the town where Jesus was born? That's right, Jesus was born in Bethlehem. And he wasn't born in a fancy building and laid to rest in a big, soft bed. He was born in a stable and wrapped in strips of cloth and laid to rest in a manger. Now, that's not how most of us were born, but God had a special plan for the birth and life of his son, Jesus. God could have sent Jesus to earth as a grown man, as a king or a warrior, but instead God chose to send his son for all of us 
as a small baby. And this small baby grew up to do amazing things. Jesus was born to be the savior of the world. During his life on earth, he showed everyone that he was and still is the one true living God. Jesus is alive, and so we celebrate him, not just at Christmas time and on his birthday, but every day of the year. Friends, Jesus is God's son, and God loves us so much that he gave us Jesus, and Jesus wants to be your friend forever. You all did wonderful today. It was so much fun being with you. Will you pray with me? Let's close our eyes and talk to God together. God, thank you so much for the story of Christmas. Thank you for the story of your son, Jesus, that you sent him for us. Thank you that you want to be our best friend forever. It's in your name we pray. Amen. It's been so much fun being with you. You all did such a great job. Remember, love God, love people, do your best, and have fun. We'll see you next time to hear more about Jesus and his story. Bye. Everybody out there, can you give me three snaps? Everybody out there, make some